if you've never heard of it, feel free to check out the website, p4cm.com. So many poems and pieces and all types of things that can bless you. This piece is called Almost. And my prayer is, hopefully, Pastor Danny's prayer and everyone else's prayer here, is that if we can if we can come here and leave here changed, and leave here different, I believe God will be pleased with that. Too many times we go into the sanctuary, we come to the altar, but then we go back the same. And God is tired of our halfway lives, almost surrendering. So this piece is called Almost, and please reflect upon it and reevaluate yourselves after hearing this piece. in English diction. If it could be translated into audio, it would sound like the saxophone of Lisa Simpson. Two words designed and strategically combined to form the biggest oxymoron in the history of mankind. Almost. See, as far as the world's concerned, you can live your life You have a nice smile. You could, you could almost meet folks just to almost sleep around and stop by at your local clinic. Well, you almost had a child, but see, almost is no stranger to Satan. His proof. Satan only tells lies when they're almost the truth. And it's amazing. In our incompleteness, we find complacence. But if almost is one of Lucifer's many faces, then we are inadvertently good at Satan impersonations. But on the contrary, Christ did his job fully, and he proved he was God when he died on the cross like it was his duty, and to pardon my iniquities that I committed rudely, he resurrected from the grave just to tell death to excuse me. But excuse me, this is your life, and that's something I can't impose on. But your body is God's home, which wasn't long to get foreclosed on. See, an almost Christian looks right, but lives wrong. Can't stand the conviction in Romans, so they sit down to be comforted in Psalms. They never understood worship, but they love to lift their hands and sing songs like, Most, most, because it's far too expensive for you to spend your life on something that doesn't appeal to your five senses. See, nowadays Christianity is like a Louis rag. No functional use, but we just rock it because it's stylish. Not righteous, but right-ish. Nowadays, all God sees is a pile of males when he intended for Isaacs. We're moved by how we feel. So we're saved when we feel like it. So technically, we've never really been saved. We, we merely tried it. So no wonder why we're never sold out when we return it after we buy it. Now, let me break it down because we need to be where. Our lives could lack the very substances that need to be there.
never knew. That's not even the worst part of living your life as neutral. It's that you were once arctic, but it's your warmness that is causing him to spew you. This is exactly the type of mentality that had me. I was bound and held down by the unforgiving gravity of my spiritual reality. I was a Christian, y'all. Or at least I portrayed the fantasy with a filthy personal life. But a God bless you, brother. How you doing, sister? Personality. I was a man enveloped by guilt because I was stamped a sinner. I said I was a man enveloped by guilt because I was stamped a sinner. My message couldn't be received because I didn't represent the sender, yet I was almost delivered. To let one day I totally, completely, honestly surrendered. I took heed to a modern prophet who proclaimed it was time for change. Now I'm no longer bound to sin, point blank, off the chain. But you can ask Umar Abdul Mutala, and he'll tell you the same. You don't almost go to jail when you almost blow up a plane. Like you don't almost go to hell when you almost get saved. Despise the cross that he was slain, and thus the cause in which he came. Don't worry, I'm almost done. But before I leave this stage, we've all worked in sin, and, and death was minimum wage. I said, we have all worked in sin, and death was minimum wage. But if it wasn't for Christ, we would have almost got paid. God bless you.